everyone, this is Lina from China. Welcome to my videos. And today I'm going to show you around Zhongguancun, the earliest technology park in Beijing. And it's behind me, the area behind me. And Zhongguancun was called the Silicon Valley of China. It can be the Silicon Valley of China because it's surrounded by a lot of famous universities. And over this Zhongguancun area, there is Renmin University. And on the other side of this road, there is Peking University and Tsinghua University. And on my right, there is the Chinese Academy of Science. Uh, they have a lot of research centers. And nowadays, the Zhongguancun Technology Park has developed very fast. It has a lot of other parks at the other areas of Beijing. But today, I will just show you this area, the earliest technology park of Zhongguancun. Okay, so now let's go. And Renmin University is at this direction. And over there are Peking University and Tsinghua University. And that way leads to the Chinese Academy of Science. We will go along this road, the Zhongguancun Avenue. And that's Hailong and Dinghao. And they used to be the most popular markets for digital products. You can buy or repair all kinds of digital things there, uh, like phones, computers, video players, MP3, MP4, or maybe e-dictionaries, things like this. But they are out of date now because we have a lot of online platforms like Jindong, Tmall, Suning, and uh, things like this. And that's another market. And most of these markets are now office buildings. And there used to be lots of peddlers selling CDs, DVDs, by the streets or on the bridge. That's the building for China Science Group. It's a company supported by the Chinese Academy of Science. And that's the main area of Zhongguancun. A lot of famous companies have their offices there. And this is Zhongguancun E Plaza, another once popular digital market.
Over there is a living area for the faculties of the Chinese Academy of Science. So these famous universities and institutes are really important for the development of Zhongguancun. And this is Zhongguancun Plaza. It's a good place for leisure. And I will come here later and show you more. Now I will go along. And that's an entertaining and shopping center, Xinjongguan, the gate. And here is a pedestrian street and another shopping mall and it's connected with the square. It's a nice day and the flowers look great in the windy sunshine. And this tall building is called the Internet Finance Center. There are some banks around here, and most of the buildings here are offices. Can you see the logo of Microsoft there?
Here is Auto Home Inc. And that's China Electronics Plaza. And this one is China National Machinery Industry Corporation. And that's Haidian People's Court. Now we are getting close to the Microsoft buildings. There is China Mobile. And that office building was named Chuang Fu. I guess it must be very popular among companies because Chuang Fu means to create wealth or simply to make money. And this building is called one plus one mansion. Why not call them two mansion?
That's Cai Hefang Academy. I guess it's for classical learning. Around here are all kinds of technology and finance companies. And there are always small restaurants and stores around. And there is a Christian church. Next to it is the famous Zhongguancun in Norway, the cradle for startups. And I will make a video of it soon. Now I will turn to this way and to the center of the area. Look, the great mansion of Microsoft. And this is Portavia Group, a state-owned telecom manufacturer, a rich company. The buildings of the video platforms Aichi and Youku are nearby. And the popular short video platforms Kuaishou and TikTok also has their offices around here.
Now we can see a huge building group over there with the words Zhongguancun on it. And that's the property of Sino Steel. And there's the scent of Zhongguancun. And Sino Steel is also state owned, is also a rich company. And there is now an innovation center for technology startups. The right part of this building was built by New Oriental and one of the biggest educational company in China. I used to work there, but what they provide is not the kind of education I believe in. So that's a sad story. Okay, that's almost for the Zhongguancun Technology Park work. So I will stop here, right at the middle of this technology park. You can see the building and the plaza behind me, and you can see the three words Zhongguancun on the building. So this is a good place to stop. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. This is Lina from China, and I will make more videos. If you like my videos, um, please hit the like button and share them to your friends. And if you want more videos from China, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time in the next video. Bye-bye.